Hello Shopify store owners, welcome to today's tutorial where we dive into a time-saving technique, adding products in bulk. I'm Steven and this is your guide to effortlessly importing CSV file into Shopify. Stay tuned as by the end of this video, you'll be a pro at streaming like your product management. So first of all, let's understand the bulk product importing. Now the graphic here, you can see there how the benefits of bulking products into a management. So a really amazing thing about the management of your products is that you can add Add all your products into just one file, add them directly into your Shopify store and automatically you could see that we have the price, you see they have the title, the description and it's going to be saving a lot of time. So you don't have to do a lot of steps and adding products is going to be effortlessly. So efficiency is key in e-commerce and bulk importing allows you to save time and focus on growing your business. Now let's get started to prepare your CSV file. Now, let's roll up our sleeves and prepare the CSV file. It's a crucial step for smooth and forward process. Once again, you have to worry about walk you through each step. Just follow along and you have your products ready for importing into no time. There's two solutions that I can give you guys in order to continue. I'm going to leave you guys a link down below in the description so you can download this actual file, this template where you can get started to adding your actual products and you can just edit it as you want it to and download it. Now the other solution that I can give you is to open a new tab and here what you want to do is to go for product bundle CSV Shopify. Now it's going to be showing you a lot of stuff that you can add. So we have the importing of the products with the CSV file inside the Shopify help center. And if you scroll a little bit down, usually what you do have is an actual file. There we go. You want to make sure that the page says sample product CSV file. If you click on it, automatically it's going to be giving you the file. Um, so whether you download it from the Google account or you download it from the link down below that I just gave you. And once again, you're going to be having another link to get started with Shopify totally free just in case you haven't had your website uh, claimed it for free uh, yet. So now that I have my file, I open it. Usually what I do is to open this into Google Sheets because there's a lot of people who doesn't have Microsoft Excel and actually it's exactly the same thing. So as you can see here, we do have a lot of stuff. For example, we have the handle, we have the title, the body, the bundle, the product category, the type, the tags, published, and so on and on and on. Now, usually what we do is to get started to editing stuff as we are moving on. For example, here I have the handle, example of some t-shirts. A example of pants, example of hats. Now here into the title, let's say for example that this is, I don't know, maybe like a Pokemon T-shirt. So later on what I want to do is to download this as a CSV file. And as you can see, here's my example t-shirt. Now let's see how we can upload and mapping here. With your CSV file ready, it's time to upload and map the data within the Shopify. So let's do this together. Now, uh, what I want to do is to go here into my Shopify. Once again, you have the link down below in the description. And as you can see here, we can add products. So if you click into add products, you can add it by title, description, the media, the pricing, the inventory, and so on and on. But if I go a little bit back, instead of going for our importing, what you can do is to choose import. Now, as you can see, it says import products by CSV file. So what I want to do is to go for add file and choose the example t-shirt. So as you can see, it says publish new products to all sales channel, overbrite product with matching handles. This is just in case you have existing balance would be replaced for columns included CSV file. In this case, I don't want to publish this because I wanted to see how it actually looks. I wanted to preview all of them, right? So go for upload and preview. So lastly, we just need to wait a few minutes till your product has now been imported into Shopify and you're actually good to go. And there you have it. Congratulations because you have successfully added products to your Shopify in a bulk. It's a game changer if you're managing large inventory sufficiently, guys. So if you find this tutorial helpful, guys, please give us a thumbs up. Uh, you can drop any questions in the comments below. Your book to import journey has just begun. Once again, you have the link down below in the description just to make sure this one is out. Just to make sure you have the free version and you have an actual huge deal. Make sure that your product has been imported with the title, description, the media and all the elements you have added from the actual CSV file which is the Google Sheets uh, application. So guys, 
thank you so much for watching the video guys hopefully we can all see you into a next tutorial